First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes monitor, camera, DC power cord, U bracket, windshield mount, cigarette lighter adapter, antenna, T taps and screws. Then take out the U-shaped bracket. Next, we install the U-bracket. Take out the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Stick it on the bottom of the bracket. Look at my operation. First, I install the sunshade on the monitor. Take out accessories. Like my way. Align the bracket hole with the screw hole. We need to use some screws to fix the bracket. Tighten the screws. Repeat the above operation. Take out the fan bracket. Then we will take down the U bracket, like my operation. Now I will demonstrate how to install the fan bracket. Loosen the screw. Clamp the bracket. Tighten the screw. Like my operation. Take out the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Stick it on the bottom of the bracket. You can stick the 3M stickers where you want. Take up the back of the monitor. Slide the cube into the back of the monitor. Tighten the screw. Like my operation. Repeat the above operation. Take out the camera. Use the tool to loosen the screw. The bracket can be adjusted flexibly. The provided screws could fix the camera to your vehicle or anywhere you can. Like my operation. Tear off the protective film of the camera. Install the antenna on the camera. The antenna need to face upwards. Install the antenna on the monitor. Please note, both antennas must be installed on the monitor at the same time. Follow my operation. Now we will demonstrate how to the windshield mount. Rotate the screw on the windshield mount, like my way. Move the cube. Take up the back of the monitor. Slide the cube into the back of the monitor, like my way. You can adjust the position you want, tighten the screw. You can mount it on the windshield. Take out the power cord. Take out the green connector. Now connect the red wire to the red wire of two power cords. 
connect the black wire to the black wire of two power cords. Like my way. The plus sign represents the positive pole, and the minus sign represents the negative pole. Use the tool to loosen the screw. Insert the mixed red wire into the positive plus clot of the green connector. Insert the mixed black wire into the negative underscore clot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Like my way. Connect a power cord to the camera. Connect another power cord to the monitor. Plug the adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up. The image appear on screen. The testing is finished. Now disconnected all the wires start to install the system. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Connect the camera to power. The red wire is for positive, the black white wire to negative or ground. After finish the installation, the image should appear on screen. Using CH key to switch the CH1 and CH2 are split screen channels. Press the CH key switch to the channels you want to pair signals with camera, then press the menu key enter that menu mode. The first icon is for pair signals, then press the SEL key to select it. When you see the CH1 and CH2 both icon appear on screen, you can use CH key to switch to pair CH1 or CH2 Chanel. Then press the SEL OK key to enter the pairing. Waiting for a few seconds till the finished icon appear. The pair succeed. Press CH key to switch the channels. Press the SEL key to turn on and off the guides lines quickly. Let's demonstrate it again. Press menu key enter to menu mode again and press up and down key to choice second icon for flip images. Press the SEL key enter the flip mode. When you see the rotate camera icon appear up, it means you can flip the image now. Now press up and down key to flip image. Press the CH key to switch the channels which you want to flip image. You can flip images on split screen status or on single screen status. Remember press CH key to switch. Third icon is for adjust the brightness. Press the up and down keys to adjust the brightness data. The fourth icon is for adjust contrast. This one is for turn on off guidelines in the menu. This one is for setting the time on screen. Press up and down key to adjust the data. Press the SEL key switch to next option. Press menu key to quit the current mode. The last icon is for reset the monitor. The SEL key is for enter or OK. Remove a back cover of the monitor to insert or pull out the memory SD card. The display supports up to 128GB memory SD card. Press the down key to quickly turn on off the DVR recording function. There is a red rec icon flashes on screen means the recording start. Press the up key to enter to watch the videos recorded. The screen is the guidelines on. 
short press SEL to turn on or off the guidelines. Long press the SEL key. When you see the flashes of guidelines, press the up and down keys to adjust the inclination of the guidelines. Look at my operation. Press SEL to confirm OK. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T taps. T taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord plug the power cord into the second hole iron sheets clamp the iron sheet to the taps bottom 